वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग वॉट इज अ व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग आर अवेलेबल द थिंग इज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एंड ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग नाउ द थिंग इज डेवलपर्स आर ओनली गोइंग टू डू द व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग बट स्टिल वी हैव बेसिक वी शुड हैव एज अ टेस्टर वी शुड हैव बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग बिकॉज इन सम इंटरव्यू Interview may ask what are the types of white box testing available. You should be able to answer those questions. Let's understand what are the types of available in white box testing. After this small intro. Camera rolling action. So first we have a path testing. So whenever developer is writing the code there are multiple class files or one class file is navigating to another class file. another class file is navigating to three four class files so what developers are going to do they are going to make sure we are able to navigate from one class to another class or one program to another program so this is how they are going to do the path testing so what happens in the path testing they are going to make a path so for example this is the main function so from main function how it is navigating this is my first number then here it will be a f1 then this code is coming here this will be f2 then here it will coming here f3 so if we are going to take the another path so here this will be a for example this is the f this will be a a1 this will be a2 this will be a3 like that we can make a path this is one b1 this is b2 so this is going to from this is from the f so f a1 f a2 so like that they are going to we can make a multiple path so how how we need to test so first we are going for a main function so this will main function then f1 and then f2 and then f3 other other path we can make as a main function then f1 f a1 and f a2 so this this we have two different paths so we need to test these two paths so the thing is path testing is a structural type of testing so in that case in this structural testing we can find out more than 70 percentage or 60 percentage defect we can find out in the path testing itself and this testing is more more effective as compared to the other white box testing and in path testing for example developer is experienced generally what happens uh, some newbie developer for example truth years guy has written the code so what happened Uh, architect level or senior manager manager level will review their code so if person is experienced technical uh, very technically sound and uh, architecture level person or manager level person uh, for that person no need to draw the path they can easily understand the path for from where it is going from where to where it is going they can easily understand the path and there are few limitations in the path testing they cannot face the interface level mistakes so this is all about the path testing now we are going to move on the conditional testing let's say i have created one login function so what happen in the login function or any other function i developer has written few lines of code so in the e, there are multiple switch statement we have or conditional statement we have so for example they have written if statement else if statement else statement so in that case what happen they have to go through the each and every scenario because for the end user no one is sure for a, for example end user stuck here or some bugs occurred here or some bug bugs occurred here so they have to check here there are few conditions first condition will be here and second condition will be here if these two condition will not fulfill then this third third block of code will going to execute so they have to make sure each and every line they are going to cover so for example developer has written 100 conditions in one class file so they have to test each and every scenario so this is called as a condition testing so now we are going to discuss loop testing this is the third part of the white box testing so in loop testing what happen actually we are going to test all the cycles of the loop so for example we have written the for loop so in for loop as per the code what happens we are starting from the zero condition and we are going up to 99 we have to return less than 100 so 99 so 0 to 99 so co this loop is going to execute 99 times so what happen in real time scenario for example someone has entered the data for the 98 time 
So developer has to make sure loop is going to work for that particular condition scenario. It can have multiple condition for the multiple iter different iteration or it can break after the 98 loop or the code will slow or something will happen. So if developer has written up to 100 time or if developer has written up to 15 time, so they have to make sure loop is running. For example, they have used another loop. So while loop or do while loop or any other loop. So all the loops should work. So this is called a loop testing in that there are multiple types of loops are available. Structured loop, unstructured loop, conditional loop, nested loop. So developer has to test each and every condition and each and every loop. So this is called a loop testing. So I hope you understood the basic level of the white box testing. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.